Hola, welcome to Costa Rica. We are happy to have you here. Have a lovely stay. Pura vida. Pura vida. <laughs> All right, many of you know I love surgery, and who better to talk about surgery, or at least the importance of an important component of surgery, than Dr. Marcus Spies, all the way from Germany by way of Allentown, Allentown, Pennsylvania, that's by right. way of Costa Rica. Yeah, that's I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm with Braun, the company who's producing sutures since more than 100 years now. And they sent me over two years ago to work in the North American vet market. Well, and, and again, let's, let's back up real quick. Yeah. So. Many veterinarians aren't familiar with who makes the suture material they use, and Braun has been one of the leaders worldwide. We are one of the companies making sutures in more than 100 years, so we started producing sutures in 1908, so it's more than 100 years now. I think Mr. Braun and Mr. Kuhn at this time, Dr. Kuhn, developed the sterile production of catgut at this time, so we are probably the first one who were producing suture material. Wow, we've come a long way from cat gut to yeah, these days. Right, so right. you are, were talking, you were giving a lecture today, uh, several lectures about different suture materials. Yes. So tell veterinarians, like, what's the new thing? We're all used to one particular type of suture, PDS or Monomin Max, yeah. but there's a couple of important changes that are happening. I mean, there were huge development over the last 30 years, but a lot of us were trained with sutures which we known from vet school that was mainly the sutures which were developed in the 80s and 90s, so that was Vicryl at this time, PGLA, or it was PDS as a monofilament. We're all now trying to work with monofilaments, which have major benefits compared to the polyfilaments, and, but everybody was trying to use PDS. PDS, it's, it's a good suture, but it's an old suture. There were new developments to get the sutures more soft, more flexible. And we have now a midterm absorbable monofilament, which was in the market. It has now been in the market probably since 10 years. It's called Monument MT. And that's really the suture or the golden standard for all the soft tissue surgery indications. Because you normally need just two weeks, maximum three weeks of healing time for all this indication, linear alba of cats, younger dogs, for all this. What you're doing inside bladder, stomach surgery, small intestines, and you don't need a long-term of solar suture, so midterm would be perfect, or is perfect for this indication. Yeah, and it's a bit of a dogma. I mean, we've gotten trapped as a profession into thinking of this one type of monofilament is the best, and, and that's we just haven't kept up with the technology because, like he said, that was in the 80s. Now, let me ask you this, though. So, so now we're, we're talking to veterinarians, and, and they're, you know, they're, we're very change-averse, Marcus. You're a veterinarian, yeah. I'm a veterinarian. We don't like you know, to try something new. This has been out a while. Before I let you go, so why sutures? Like, how did you get into this? I mean, you've been doing this a long time. You were coming from Germany where, you know, made uh, this was a, your career. Yeah. Why, why suture materials? Oh, that's a really good question. <laughs> I you love was, surgery. Definitely. I was trained as a surgeon. So I worked five years in veterinary clinic, mainly in surgery. And I think I sutured some miles of sutures, different suture materials. <laughs> Um, and then I changed to the industry side of the business, so manufacturing side of the business, and they, I would say, they pushed me into the suture business. And I like this business because, to be honest, there are not many people which are really specialists on the suture right. business. And as more as I know about this, as more I'm getting to be a specialist and to be, yeah, people like what I'm telling them because, really... Nobody tells us. Yeah. yeah. Nobody yeah. talks about suture. You know from university, we were not really trained on sutures. When I came out of university, I haven't done any suture probably. So the first time I used my sutures was not my assistant's career. So, and that was after university. So I'm now trying to convince people, start using sutures already while you're studying. I'm trying to convince vet schools, make suture workshops out of the normal, out of the normal um, daily business and trying to get the people doing really sutures. And we are, we are helping them with that. So we are trying to get people using sutures. So it sounds like it's time for us to let go of the 1980s technology when it comes to suture material, embrace the 2010s yeah. at least, and move forward. So thank you again, Marcus, for talking thank to you us. Much. Yeah. It was a pleasure for yeah. me. Thank now you. say goodbye in German. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Buenos dias. Ciao.